Why use a softmax as activation function? Usually in a multi-classification problem, we use a softmax as the last layer or the output layer in a neural network. The logic of softmax is to get inputs from the previous hidden layer and the transforming in probabilities. Let's assume that you have five categories, apple, bear, candy, dog, and egg. Each category is binary. For example, dog, the picture is yes or no. That means each category would be modeling by a logistic sigmoid function. But here we have five categories. That means softmax is a multinomial model. It is a generalization of the logistic regression. For each category, softmax generates a probability between 0 and 1. For example, a picture has 95% to be a dog, but only 4% to be a bear. And if you sum up all the probabilities for each category, you are going to get 1. Now, let's formalize mathematically the concept of softmax function sigma. First, let's start with the vector of input z. It is the weight of the hidden layers plus the bias term, or intercept. The intuition is the softmax function get the input z and just normalize it. First, we exponentiate z. Then, we divide by all exponentials of z. That means from 1 to k classes. The denominator is there just to guarantee that the probability generated will be between 0 and 1. And why we have the work to exponentiate the input z? Because we can take the logarithms. And this facilitates the optimization problem of the maximum likelihood estimator. Computationally, it's far easier to maximize the log likelihood function than the likelihood function directly. See that the goal is to maximize the log likelihood function. The first term contributes positively, but the second term contributes negatively. That means the same zi increases the first term, but it decreases the second term. And that's why we use softmax function as activation function to deal with a multi-classification problem where the function behaves well for optimization.